Hello people from Gunner Station, John here. Uh, well, if you can please uh, subscribe to the channel if you're new, like the content. I don't like being too annoying people if you want to go to the comment section, comment. Uh, we can have a little interaction over there, I always answer the comments, yeah. So, yes guys, if you guys can help me with that, it's going to be very important for me. Like the content, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Uh, I don't like being too annoying, so let's just go for the video. Looks like Thomas Partey, according to Jordan Choco, which is, I, I don't know if it's a reliable source, I don't know if it isn't. I know a decent number of journalists, but I've never heard of this guy. He posted that Arsenal has agreed uh, terms with Thomas Partey. Well, if that's true, uh, I don't know, because I've never heard of the journalist, as, as I said. But... Uh, Yes, people, I don't really know. I think that would be a fantastic signing for us, Thomas Partey. I think he is everything we need in the middle. I think middle is our weakest position. I think if you play with Granit Xhaka, it would be very decent. Uh, we also link with Kokchu, as you guys know. Uh, but it's it's kind of weird, let's say that, because uh, Kokchu this season is not playing as a attacking midfielder. He's not playing as a 10. It's a, a 10. He's usually playing as a number eight, yeah. Feyenoord usually plays in the 4-3-3 system with three C, uh, uh, central midfielders. They don't play with uh, a center attacking midfielder. And uh, Kokchu usually plays on the left, on the right, because he can shoot with both foot, which is pretty good, people. Uh, he can shoot from outside the box. I think the high tempo in the Premier League, I think it would suit him, but I don't know if that would be the best choice, in my opinion. I don't think just yet I think we should go for a maybe I, I I think it's I think it will be a decent signing but it wouldn't be my priority like I'm not saying the position is not a priority but I'm saying the signing I think uh, he's yet too young we could maybe wait a little bit yeah I don't know I forgot whether his contract expires I think maybe in 2022 or 23 uh, the reported fees around uh, 25 million euros which is equal to 22 million pounds uh, Bergwijn, when he left PSV to go to Tottenham, he left for a fee around 27 million pounds, 13 million uh, in euros. So yes, people, as you guys know as well, Chelsea is on the verge of signing Timo Werner. They already agreed a deal, but they haven't signed yet. Yeah, uh, that puts us in a lot of pressure because Chelsea is really trying to challenge for the top two over here, the Man Cities and the and Liverpool. And it looks like Manchester United is gonna try to do that too when it, when the window when the window opens. Yeah, uh, they signed of course Bruno Fernandes last summer. And Galo's staying until January. I don't think Galo's that great, but uh, it is it is what it is. I don't know if, whether they're gonna sign a new striker. They already have three players who can play there. Although I think Rashford is pretty bad at striker. I think he's way bad left wing. Martial can also play there, and of course, oh, they, they actually have Mason Greenwood and Galo, so they have four players who can play striker. Yeah. So I think that's that's a decent number, but I think they need more quality players over there yeah? because Rashford for me does not work as a striker. His movement inside the box is not that great. Uh, when it comes to Mason Greenwood, yeah, too young, uh, but he's a very very good prospect. Yeah, and when it comes to Chelsea, and they're also linked with Sancho, by the way, uh, not Chelsea, Manchester United. They're uh, Chelsea. Is still wants Ben Chowo from Leicester. I don't think that would be a good deal. And even even if it, even if they get Ben Chowo, I don't really not really no chance in my opinion. Tierney is leaving Arsenal because Raul Raul tried so hard to make that deal happen. Our board tried so hard to make that deal happen. We were in chase for Kieran Tierney for more than. Well, if you want to count all the months, it was probably more than six months because we are we were not only linked with them in the last summer, but we were linked with them the summer before and all that. But we got them last summer, so uh, we worked so hard for it. Yeah, we offered a first uh, first bid and a second bid and uh, reports a third bid, a third bid, and then on the last date we offered the money that Celtic wanted. Which, by the way, Celtic is now reporting. Uh, it's now reported that Chelsea wants 30 million for Edson Edouard. Uh 25 million for Tierney was the highest paid fee. 
uh, highest paid fee uh, for a player who plays in Scotland, so that's very interesting for a left back. And then now they want approximately 30 million for Edouard, who's doing very, very decent there. Uh, if I'm not wrong, Edouard is 27 goals, people. Are so I'm sorry if I'm, if I'm wrong. Uh, I think it would be a very good if we sign Edouard. Honestly, if we lose, I don't know whether we're gonna lose a bombing, whether we're gonna lose Lacazette, maybe both, I don't know. Uh, I think maybe one of them is gonna stay, but I don't know who's gonna come. I think Edouard would be a decent one. Uh, I think he's a very tall striker. He's very fast. Yeah, he's good at free kicks. He's pretty good at free kicks. His dribbling is amazing for someone at his height. And um, he can shoot. And he has a very powerful shot. And he's a very strong player. I think here in the Premier League, he has attributes to succeed in the league. Uh, he can become maybe a... Uh, it's kind of similar. It's kind of similar to Kaku over there, but I think the technique he does have it because his dribbling is absolutely good for someone at his height. He dribbles a lot. Uh, I, I, honestly, it's very interesting because a striker. I, I know midfielders who are tall and can dribble a lot, like maybe just, just Paul Pogba players like that. But when it comes to strikers, people, you always think of a striker. A guy, when you think of a tall striker, you think it's that goal scorer who's just uh, gonna be there to score the goals, the headers, and yeah, score goals for you. But he's a different type of player. He can actually go for free kicks, and he's very technically gifted. Uh, and that's very interesting for a player his height. So, yes, people. Uh, Chelsea's, of course, Chelsea signing Zayat, Chelsea signing Timo Vela puts us in a lot of pressure, as I said. I don't think she was that great, as I said as well. I think they need more players if they want to challenge for that title. They need a, goal, a new goalkeeper because the K-pop for me is absolutely rubbish. Uh, center, at least one center back as well. I think Tomori is not that great. Uh, I think he's overhyped as well. Rudiger, I think he's decent, yeah. Uh, maybe if Aspilicueta plays over there, I don't know. Uh, I don't know who's gonna play right back. If Aspilicueta plays center back, I believe Reese James. But I think Reese James is also not that great. People, uh, I see a lot of people um, saying Reese James is better than Wembisaka. That's for me absolutely no. I, I don't buy that at all. I think Wembisaka is miles better than Reese James, probably even offensively. Because defensively he's better for a fact, but when it comes to offensively, from Bissaka, that's not one of his strengths. But uh, I guess he can prove in it because I think it's harder for um, a fullback learn how to defend than to attack. He already knows how to defend, but attacking wise, uh, he's improving. Yeah, and the last part of the season he was improving. For example, for example, the last assist he made to Martial when uh, Manchester United played against Chelsea. Manchester United won. What was the score? Two 0 or two one? I think it was two 0 Yeah. So yes, people very interesting. Rich James can also play in the middle, but um, yes, I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't care what's gonna happen to Chelsea, but that puts us in a lot of pressure. As I said, a lot of people uh, criticizing Arsenal board. I rate our board for not spending just yet. Uh, not making any deals. Maybe George Lewis is a minor deal, but that's not involved a lot of money at all, is it? Uh, but when it comes to big signings like Thomas Partey, a player who's above the 10 million, let's say, uh, we still haven't done it. And I, I, I'm gonna say why I think that's good in my opinion because we're ninth on the table. We don't know at all whether we're gonna finish. If we spend money, uh, if we spend too much money, and we, and before, and before the. Before the transfer window even starts, just like Chelsea, and then we finish ninth or eighth, we are screwed, people. I th I feel like we have to finish. We have to end this Premier League, yeah. And then after the Premier League, we think about the transfer window. I think we go. We gotta go by steps. We gotta go by priorities. And I think our priority now is uh, Premier League football. Uh, this season, of course, I if it stays like that, City gets the ban. If uh, a team in the top six get the FA Cup. Or us, uh, the team that is seventh goes to Europa League because City, of course, got a ban. So the team that it's on the top six, if they win the FA Cup, which is probably gonna happen because FA Cup winners are usually teams that are in the top six. Of course, there are cases it does not happen, but I think it's gonna happen. The team that finished second, uh, seventh, is going to Europa League as well. If I'm not mistaken, B boy, if I'm if I am, I'm so sorry. Uh, but yeah, I think we're gonna fit. I think we're gonna fight for that top five. I still believe it. I have high hopes. But 
Yes, people, let me go. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thank you so much. Yeah.